I usually like to be the last person to speak on these things to, to, to wrap it all up. But in this particular instance, along with the love and everything, affection that everybody shares, my, uh, I'll tell my story. I think I met Debbie through a friend of ours, Steve Cannon, about seven years ago, about seven, eight years ago. And I went to the house, and, and here was the house, and, and you've all been to Debbie's house, so it, it defies description. <laughs> you know, I've, I've always kind of liked that sort of eclectic kind of design. You know, it has facets of that. Um, when Betty came, those facets were imbued in certain ways. Um, but here I was, and, and I didn't have any children, and uh, I looked around, and here was Debbie's house, and Debbie was a web person, and that was interesting. And some business was interesting, but there were pictures on the wall. And I went, well, now who is this person? And what's this person about? And at that time, Coral was probably 12 or 10 or younger. And, uh, and there, somewhere hovering around. And I thought, well, that's hovering around energy. And goes off um, to be with Randy sometimes. And then Debbie has summer. So I kind of got used to this sort of pacing. And then there were other parts of the pacing of knowing Debbie and Coral that became extended family. So there were other people around. Lots of other people. <laughs> and, and there were a variety of characters in the spectrum of people. <laughs> and, uh, some were soft and some were loud and some were homeless and some were, you know, uh, professionals and, you know, one thing or another. And I pr appreciated the, the richness of what that surrogate possibility and extended family was and is. And I became attached to that family uh, and felt a part of that family. And I appreciate, I appreciate that. And in that time, as I've gotten to speak with Debbie quite a bit, I've had other information. So I know, having ne never met some of the people who are here today, I have, other, I have information about them. I know about Don living in Taiwan and in, in travels. I know about Dr. West and I know about Randy and I know about Gary and different people. Um, so it's a pleasure to be here with all the extended family. That's, that's huge. Um, and I look forward to getting to know everybody a little better. So in time, in time that, in the, that the energy that was Coral that was in the periphery of my vision became to more on the radar screen, was more in front of my vision. And there was a person that was emerging here. And there was a person that was growing here. And, I, and that was interesting, because there was a person. And, and then I noticed that person. And then I watched her grow. To the point that today, in the past few months, I've attended a lot of graduation. And, um, and I, and, and I know some of those sons and daughters as well. And yet every time I look at one of them, I go, but I know Coral and she's got her shit together. <laughs> and none of these other kids seem to, uh, to the level that Coral had. We had, uh, I had the privilege of going, I suppose the story I'll tell is, I, we had the privilege of going to Gunnison, which is my hometown where I was born, and Coral was considering going to Western State. Where are those Crested people? And we, that's when I met Chelsea and not Chelsea. And um, of course, I was biased. I thought, you know, Western State. And at that time, we were thinking about grand, buying my grandparents' house. And I thought, well, that'll be perfect. We'll all move there. We'll have a study house there. And it'll all be wonderful. Um, and I tried to introduce Coral the idea that Western State, and it happened to be a warm day. And if any of you know anything about Gunnison, it is often the coldest place in the nation. So. This was a warm day, and I said, Coral, the weather here is just like this a lot. <laughs> just, you know, these crisp mornings, and, and, and it, it's warm here. It, it's nice here a lot. <laughs> then after I thought that Coral might like Western State, I sat down and I said, you know, Coral, it is cold here. You know, it can get really cold here. But you'll grow. You'll be strong. You'll, you'll, you'll have deep intellectual possibilities here. Um, she chose to go to Durango, though, um, <laughs> which I think is warmer. Um, so it's, it's, it's 
very rich for me, not only to know Coral, um, but particularly to appreciate the extended family of Matt and his family, the Calhouns and the West that, have, that, that all come together and are crystallized in this one room. And I uh, am really thankful for that. Thankful for the genetics, thankful for the Debbie, the job that you've done. And Coral, thank you for raising your mom. I know that <laughs> <laughs> You've done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> All of us.